Hi Ori, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we finished off the quest that we had in Jin Floor, and we got a new trinket called Ruin of the Guard Captain. Pretty good trinket. Today, we are going to be doing a quest for Lard. Lard lost his lunch. Lard was a, at a secret spot having picnic when ugly, mean Vile Branch hit Lard with a big stick. Lard ran back to Reventusk, but forgot Lard lunch. Lard hungry. Maybe you go back to secret special spot and get Lard lunch. Lard scared, go north. Island there to the north is the secret special spot. Alright, so let's go get Lard's lunch. This may be the, the final quest that we do. In the hinterlands. It's too bad we can't queue up for uh, a ZF. Kind of bugs me a bit. But we're going to try to get into one. That's going to be the plan after we do this quest. <laughs> See if I can get into anything here. Mardon need tank. DPS enhance. So, see, the way I could find a group as I could... There's a lot of people looking for Maradon. How many people looking for ZF? So what I'll do is I'll probably try to make my own group. And, uh... I guess I'll have to become a tank. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. So we are going to head to... It's probably Ogrimmar. Let's see what we can do. So we've been to that island before. That is where we found uh, the secret. I think this is where Lard's lunch is, right over here, next to this tree. Well, it has a big tree on it, I should say. But yeah, if we become a tank, we are going to have to level up our uh, skills. Which is one-handed swords, which we only have at 34. But we will get that up. We'll have to buy ourselves a shield as well in the auction house. Sh should be able to do that. We got 87 gold. And after that, we should be good to go. Should Can you tank Mara? No, I cannot. Sorry. I am wrecked. Okay. But yeah, maybe we'll tank a bunch of dungeons. Who knows? So if I go tank spec, I might as well get as much as as I can out of it. So we should probably buff up here. There we go. Alright, so let's get Lard's lunch. Oh, looks like uh, another fool falls for the trap. Well, it looks like this guy's gonna end up being the fool. He's gonna get rocked. So it looks like Lar. Wonder how he got over here. Like I didn't know ogres could swim. But it looks like he is. Uh, he fell for the trap too. Unless they took, they stole Lard's lunch and then they used it as a trap after. Maybe that was their plan. There we go, we got Lard's lunch. Let's see what's in here. Maybe we can uh, get something. Nope, nothing. Nope. Okay, there's another one's coming. I think we, tr we triggered the trolls again. I guess we'll fight these guys one more time. This time is going to be kind of interesting. We might die. Kind of low here. Should I try to heal? Probably should. Have you died there? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lay on hands. Should I use it? No, he didn't need it. Okay, well, we're not clicking on that again. 
But there we go, we're done. So I guess we'll just head back to Raventus Village. Got our hearth, might as well use it. Hopefully the saltwater snap just and get hungry. Lard rubs his enormous belly. Lard so hungry. Lard takes that, the huge haunch of meat from you and stuffs it in his face. This hit the spot. Thanks, little one. Lard made you special picnic basket for help, Lard. Alright, let's see, see what's in his little picnic basket here. Hopefully we got bag space. Looks like we did. Did we get a sword? Could be a dagger. Yeah, so we got a little dagger. You can use a dagger when tanking, but... It's actually not bad. But I think we are going to go with a sword. So we're going to sell that. Alright, so uh, let's head over to... Undercity. And... We'll see what's going on. And then from there, maybe we'll make our way to Ogremar or Thunderbuff. Speak, friend. So we're a little closer to Zulfarak. So I'm going to have to spam and trade. I should try to do get in one now. Maybe we, if we can get into a group, I would jump in. Paladin looking for Zulfarak. I think it's two R's, is it? Zulfarak. I think it's one. I, I don't really know. I think it's two. Dungeon group. So much spam, though. I doubt anyone's going to see it. I don't know. If someone's making a group, maybe I can... Like, you can't even see my, my spam. There it is. Okay, I'm, it's enough looking at that. But yeah, hopefully we can get into a group. If I go tank, I think I can make it. If I can't make it as a tank, I'll be so upset. Because I'm going to, you know, change my spec. Maybe I should... Well, no. I don't know. Can you tank? Tank ZF. Yeah, I can. Actually, I can't. Because I don't have a damn sword. I can two-hand tank. Go change my spec. I wonder if how a two-hand tanking would work. thing is you don't have avenging wrath so i won't be able to just throwing your shield well you need a shield yeah probably i can't tank i can't tank right now i guess <laughs> i probably would need a shield my plan was to consecrate and use a 2H. Thing is, the, the warrior that we had in one of the, the dungeon groups, I think it was with my shaman, he did a, a two-hander. And he had, I believe... I think he had uh, the Ravager, which is a pretty cool axe that allows you to do... Like, as you just spin to do like a whirlwind AoE. But the thing is, warriors have like a like whirlwind and like a lot of AoE abilities to keep AoE threat up. The only thing I would have is consecrate, so I don't know if it would work. I'm 51. But yeah, I, I agree. Probably, probably won't work. That's the problem. Like, I don't have Consecrate. If I had Consecrate, like, maybe I could pull it off with a two-hander. 
No one would pull off of me, though, I don't think. Maybe. Group left anyways, rip. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's gonna be... The good thing is, is I was spamming and I found somebody, so... That's good. So that means we're gonna... There's potential here. That we get a little ZF run going. Thing is, I have to get, uh... The quest. I wonder if I have the quest. Yeah, I have Gazrilla. Okay, good. So we have, uh... The mount quest. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about that. This is all we want, guys. We need this mount speed. Because we're not getting a better mount. Like, we will never be... Well, I wouldn't say never be able to afford a better mount. Like, to be honest, I could buy... I could buy Travid in a mount at 60. With uh, my rogue. My rogue could give him some gold. <laughs> Yeah, I could buy an epic, an epic mount. But should I do that? What do you guys think about that? I don't know. You know, like, congratulations for hitting 60. Welcome to Outland. Here's a, here's an epic mount. That, it would be nice. You know, because it would mean I would get to quests a lot faster. The problem is, is um, I wouldn't be able to do that on my shaman. So it kind of would feel a little um, unfair. And then I might start like hating my shaman because his mount's slow. <laughs> right now I kind of like the shaman though. Like his mount's a little bit faster than my paladins because he has carrot on a stick. Alright. So let's mount up here. Look like this uh, paladin's trying to sell me strat home boosts. From level 45 to 60, 210 to 230 mobs killed, 34,000 to 40,000 XP earned, 12 minute runs, 15 gold per run, can AFK at the entrance. Not a bad little farm for him. Air, we need DPS for Mara. Alright, so should we do this Mara run? I guess so. Sounds good. Give me a second. Oh man, this this is rough. I gotta I gotta make my hearth. This guy's like, bro. I would do a Mara. Why not? Before we uh what happened? Did he not like paladins? Looks like we had a full group and then this warlock just left. Low vigilance players. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Low vigilance players. At least that was the last pack, I think. Luckily, just a DPS. Oh, looks like these guys are having a rough time in Maradon. We all know what that's like. Not a very forgiving place. Dying to the oozes. The oozes are a pain. Sounds like an interesting group. Some of them are inside. Summons coming soon, yo. Alright, well, sounds like the summons are coming soon. I just I need I need the hearth though. I need I need the hearth at uh at Ogre Mart though. It's just not right if I don't have uh the Ogre Mart hearth. This guy's like, nah. I wonder what that means. But the summon, I guess the summons aren't coming soon. 
If these guys are inside Maradon, they're not coming soon because unless the well, the, the Warlocks and the Vile Reef, so... Yeah, it's not, it's not coming soon. So the Warlocks and Stranglethorn Vale. The Rogue's in Maradon. The Druid is in Maragon. And uh, I don't know where the Dragon Merc is. Actually interested to see where that is. Oh, that's over here in Duswalla Marsh. Alright, well... Uh, I think we got some time. Maybe we'll check the auction house out while we're waiting. But it would be nice to do a little bit of Mardon. The thing is, if we do it, I will hit level 52. But the thing it and, and the problem with hitting level 52 is... Is potentially a lot of these quests might turn gray. Which would suck. So I'm not too sure what we'll do. <laughs> this group's looking kind of rough, though. <laughs> we got people dying. They don't know where they're going. Good thing is, we are in Ogremar. Yeah, speaking of repair, maybe we should get a repair. I think we'll do that right now. Alright, so let's make, uh, repair our items here. Summon our war horse. Make Ogremar our home. What can I help you with? Let's... Damn it. Farewell! This is, this is the inn. Blood and thunder. And there he is. Zug, zug. It's like, what the heck? Because I know this is the end. Because you know how many times I've took taken the hearth to Ogremar and got dispelled by a dirty like night elf priest. In classic, I lost all my world buffs. I don't know if you guys know about world buffs, but in classic, you would you know go around the world collecting world buffs so you could perform well in raid or just to min max and. Uh, and you would come back to Ogremar and then try to log out as fast as you can before you get dispelled by a priest. And it was pretty risky, actually, um, earthing back. So, whenever you took that risk and you got dispelled, it was pretty heartbreaking. Alright, so let's head over to this spot over here, the auction house. And we'll look for a sword and a shield, just a nice cheap one. Nothing too expensive. Okay. Blade of Wizardry. Okay, so we want like a... Probably want like a level 50 to 60 sword. Damn it, look at all these nice swords. They're all expensive, dude. What the heck? Maybe I can find a one in sword in this dungeon. 45 to 60. Let's see if we can get a better one. Yeah, all these swords are rough. Unless we get the Widowed Blade of the Monkey. It's not a bad sword. I think we'll do think about that later. But I think we will uh, accept this summon to the Valley of Spears. So let's do that. And I am going to uh, call this quest, I mean this episode here. And next episode we will be doing uh, the Dungeon Marduk. 
But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.